Good day folks, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, today we're going to look at the grade 12 electric circuits. This is the question paper, the national paper, now November 2021. Um, let's cut the chase. It says a battery within the circuit shown below has an EMF, um, very important information, has an EMF of 12 volts and an unknown internal resistance. Right, so we have a battery here. So the maximum voltage that we're given there that is supplied by the battery is 12 volts. And then this resistance that is inside the battery um, has an internal resistance. So we, um, it's not known. Right, it's very important, guys. Information, it says a resistance of a connecting wire and an ammeter is negligible. Right, the first thing that is important, guys, in a circuit that I always tell you is to follow the current. The total current, it's come from the positive side, which is, it's going to come that way. Let's say in a case where the switch is closed, it's going to come there, which is the total current. And then it passes the ammeter. So that's the total current. That means the ammeter had reached the total current. And then when it gets in that junction, there's a split. Other current will go this way. And the other current will go that route. So if you're looking at the 6 ohm resistor, the current that passes there is the same current that passes in the 2.4 ohm resistor. So it simply means that in this line, these two resistors are series to each other, but this line is parallel to this line. So the total, which is the combination of this resistor and this resistor, when they are in combined, when you add, you add the resistors that are in series, right? So this 8.4 is parallel to the 6, not individually parallel to the 6, right? So when they combine there, they become a total current, which is the green one. So it simply means that in this x resistor this unknown resistor the total current passes there right right it's very important so this circuit guys it's a combination of series and parallel so these two lines are parallel remember this is one wire connecting the two resistors that makes them series but the sum of these series resistors are parallel to that one and um, there's a voltmeter here. This voltmeter is connected only to this. Um, it's not for the entire parallel, right? If this V2 voltmeter is connected here, so it reads the potential difference of this 6 ohm there. I hope that makes sense, guys. And then in this V1, it's connected across the terminals of the battery here. Yeah. So it, it will read the V external and the EMF there. Right, now let's cut the chase. Let me erase this guy so that we can see. Right, um, now, um, it says the switch S is open. So this switch is open. Um, it says write down the reading, the reading on V1. Where is V1? The reading here. So when this switch S is open, no current will go in the external circuit. So what will be the reading there? So the 12 is the EMF. So it will read the EMF there. So it will be 12 volts. All the time when there's no current in the circuit, the voltmeter will read the EMF, which is this voltmeter. Now, what about this one? So in 8.1.2, it says the voltmeter V2. So what is voltmeter V2? What is the reading there? So the voltmeter reading to V2, since there's no current that passes here, so there will be no voltage that is there. So it's going to be zero volts, right? Now, the question it says, the statement it says, the switch S is now closed. Let's close it. Now, this is closed. That means there's a current that is going there, right? Now, it says the reading on ammeter, which is this ammeter. Remember, this ammeter said it reads the total current is 1.2 and the power dissipated in a resistor X is 5.76. 
So this ammeter reads the current, which is 1.2 amperes. And this resistor R here, it has a power, which is the rate in which the energy is transferred there. Right? Now they say define... 8.2 define the term power power is the rate in which the energy is transferred stick to the exam guideline and it says um, calculate 8.3 the resistance r so the 8.3 i'm going to write it here the answer let me make it red um 8.3 they want power here so they want um they want the resistance of this what do we have here remember guys here there's a total current that, that passes here so the current that passes here is the total remember there's a split here and there's a split so when they combine here yeah, it's a total again so there's a total current at 8.3 we we'll use the formula that says power ir and then we'll take the power we're given the power here which is um it's 5.76 and then the current that passes there it's 1.2 square r and then the resistance if you do your math it will be 4 ohms right now let's go to 8.4 8.4 it says calculated the total external resistance so the total external resistance guys is the this resistance plus these ones remember this one and these two are parallel the combination of these two are parallel to this one so this is a combination the so calculating um in 8.4 so calculating 8.4 remember the r series here um we label our resistors this is r1 r2 r3 and rx so the r series is equal to rx which is the resistance there is it's 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 four ohms remember this is four ohms guys the one we just calculated four ohms um it's four ohms and then the r parallel the r parallel it's going to be one over r1 plus um one over one over which is the combination of these two so it's r2 plus r3 so which is going to be one over six plus one over um one over six plus 2.4 which makes one over six plus one over uh one comma eight four so this is r parallel so um to invert that i'll put i'll make that as an inverse or a reciprocal you have rp is equal to um rp is equal to 3.5 ohms right so the answer of the parallel resistance is 3.5 right so now the r external r external which is the sum of all these these plus this which is is the series plus the parallel so which is going to be the r series there it's going to be 4 plus 3.5 which is the 7.5 ohms we're done with that question let's go to the next question the reading on v2 so the reading on v2 remember guys i've explained in the beginning so this voltmeter it's connected to this resistor which is the six ohm resistor which is the six ohm resistor that is series to this one right so we want the voltage of that so guys we need to be very wise here look it's five marks it's not just a walk in a park you need to really think when you do that so the first thing that i'm going to do guys here in 8.5 um, which is i'm going to start here 8.5 calculating the voltmeter the voltage that here which means we want the potential difference that is used by this one remember this one is in series with this one so the vo the resistance in series that potential divider right whatever voltage that this one has um is the same 
for both of these. Like if if the voltage of this one is six, right? The voltage of this one, which is the potential difference of this one, is six. These two they will share among the six, right? So they divided the six. Remember, right? Now what are we going to do now? <clears throat> I'm going to calculate the voltage for this parallel section. So what I'm going to use, I'm going to use the voltage here in the parallel section and also use the current that passes here in the parallel section. So the 1.2 that gets here and split that I'm going to use because it's 1.2 the total current that is here and the resistance that we calculated in the parallel which is 3.5. So let's do that first. So we want to say um, I is equal to V over R, which is the voltage in parallel, resistance in parallel, and the current that is in parallel. So what I'm going to do, um, the current there that is in the parallel section is 1.2, and the voltage is the one that I'm looking for, and the resistance there um, is 3.5. Resistance is 3.5. If you punch that in the calculator, you will get um, the voltage in the parallel section, which is 4.2, right? It's 4.2 volts. So, what does it mean, this 4.2 volts? The 4.2 volts, it means the voltage here, okay? The voltage here in parallel is 4.2. And... If you can put the voltmeter here, you connect in this parallel, you get the voltmeter of what? 4.2. And the voltage, the total voltage of these two is 4.2, right? But specifically, we wanted the voltage of this. No, we wanted the voltage of this, which is this V2 is connected to that. So what I'm going to do now, having the voltage of the parallel that means the voltage of this is 4.2 as well so i'm going to calculate the current that passes there so after knowing the current that passes here i will minus from the total which is the 1.2 which is the total that is passing here and then i'll get the current that is used there so this is what i'm going to do so i'll use this 6 ohm this 6 ohm resistor which is r1 so i will say let me write it here i will say r is equal to v over i which is this is what this is r1 and then it's 6 and the volt uh, voltage there is 4.2 and the current that passes there that's what i want Remember, guys, let me show you again. I wanted the current that passes here. What do I have here? I have a resistance. I have the voltage, which is 4.2 that is used there. And uh, this line uses the voltage of 4.2 as well. Okay. So when I do the math there, so it's going to be the current is going to be when I cross multiply there. I'll get the voltage, the, the, the current, which is 0 0.7 amperes, right? So, the current that passes here, which is the split, the 1.2 comes there. The split that passes here, it's what? It's 0 0.7 amperes. But uh, what about the current that passes there? So, what I'm going to do, the next step, I'll say... Now, I wanted the current that passes in this side now. So, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do there, I'll say the current, the current um, there that passes there, uh, which one is R1 and R1, the current of R2 and R3, current of R2 and r3 is equal to the i total minus the current of of r1 which is going to be um, um 1.2 which is the total minus 0 0.7 which is going to be 0 0.5 amperes now guys we know the current that passes here it's 0 0.5 amperes right 
So the current, if I know the current that passes here, that means I can calculate the voltage of this. I hope, guys, that makes sense. And there's so many ways, guys. So now I'm going to the 6 ohm resistor, which is R2 now. I'm going to calculate the voltage that is used in R2. So what I'm going to do now, the next step, I'll say R2 is equal to V over I. Now the resistance there is what is 6 and the voltage there. Um, the voltage there, it's the one that I want, which is V2, right? And then divide by the current. What is the current there? It's 0 0.5. And then when I cross multiply, V2 is what? Is 3 volts. So the voltage in V2 is 3 volts. So the voltage here is what? Is 3 volts, right? So many ways to do that, guys so many ways to do that maybe i dragged it i hope it makes sense now let's go to this last question last question it says a length of wire with a negligible resistance is used to connect um, p and q in the circuit so connecting now in other words this question it says instead of these resistors are removed to this and this they are replaced by a wire. There's a wire that connects there from P to Q without resistance. So now let's look at the current. What's going to happen to the current? The current is going to come there, the one, the current, and then it splits. The other friction will go there and the other friction will go there. Remember, there's no resistor there. So it will just go there. Remember, so this will be parallel only. There will be no, these two resistors, there will be no series. So once... And this is removed and this is the only one remember there are external guys here it was 7.5 but now look at the are external it's six and six that makes what three how does it make three it's the r parallel now it will be th um, six times six divided by six plus six um, which is going to be what three ohms right it's going to be 3 ohms. So that means here, the total resistance has decreased because of its only parallel. That's 6 and 6. So it, it became 3 from what? From 7.5. Now it's 3. That means the total resistance has decreased, right? Now, what is the question? It says uh, we replace that by a wire with negligible resistance. It says how will the reading in V1 be affected? Which V1? Which is this one how would it be affected so which means the v1 they are referring it's very important they're referring to v external so the v external guys here the answer the answer is going to be um decrease right so explaining your answer how is it decreased so that means the total resistance has decreased that means the total current as well decrease and that also influence the um, V internal to decrease as well. So if the V internal decreases, that makes the, um, no guys, this is wrong. This is wrong. Um, the V internal decreased, that makes the V external, the, the, the R internal decrease, that makes the, uh, v external decrease so if the, the the total resistance decrease the total current will increase because they are inversely proportional and if the total current um, increase the v internal also increases that once makes the v external to decrease of course the formula there it's v external is equal to emf minus the v internal right it's very important guys i hope this question makes sense cheers bye